If you spend time in the outdoors, there's a good chance you've caught a glimpse of this strange creature scuttling across the forest floor. This odd invertebrate is nicknamed the Daddy Long Legs, and there's a story that this is actually the most venomous spider in the entire world. And since I'm in New Jersey right now, I have a good chance to catch one of these and investigate if this tale has some truth to it. Welcome to Nature Tales. My name is Nicholas, and on this channel, my goal is to show you the amazing stories of the natural world. The Daddy Long Legs mostly comes out at night, so I went out into the woods after dark and eventually found a nice sized specimen. Okay, finally, I've been seeing a lot of little harvests when I thought it was really too small to film, but I finally found an adult I think is sufficient. I'm going to try and grab him. Here we go. Got him. It is pretty late. I've got my daddy long legs here and I'm going to go put it in a container overnight and film it when the light is much better. Here he is. Pretty weird looking, right? Look at that arachnid there. Really, really odd shape. Now, supposedly, according to the story, this is the deadliest spider in the world, but its fangs are too small to break the skin. So is this true? Well, we're going to let him out of the box and see. Well, we are about to find out if this is the most dangerous spider in the world. I'm going to put him on my hand. Let's see what happens. There he is, the daddy long legs. So as you may have surmised by the fact that I am handling this, this is not the most dangerous spider in the world. He doesn't have venom, he doesn't even have fangs, and he's not a spider. This is one of the harvestmen. They are arachnids, but they're not spiders. I'm not sure where this story comes from. I guess they're just generally sort of weird and creepy looking animals. And they definitely are that. Look at how strange they are. They have a very small body and super long legs. See, there's, there's a pair near the front that almost function like the antennae of an insect. He's constantly waving them around, feeling his way. I think what makes the harvestman so odd looking how it's, is how disproportionate it is. It has a very, really tiny body and then huge legs. I mean, its leg span is almost about as wide as my hand. Now, as I said, the harvestmen look very much like their close relatives, the spiders, but there's one very easy way to differentiate the two groups. The bodies of both harvestmen and spiders are divided into two pieces, the cephalothorax and the abdomen. On spiders, it is clearly divided into two different parts, but on harvestmen, it basically looks like it's been fused together to form one body segment. Such weird creatures. You see he's cleaning his legs. Those are his pedipalps up at the front. The harvestmen are pretty generalistic in their diet. They're mostly omnivores, so they'll eat some vegetable material. They'll scavenge a lot, they'll eat a lot of dead insects, and they'll occasionally catch small living insects as well. Now, when they find something they want to eat, whether it be a small living insect, something that's dead, they will grasp it with their chelicerae, and those are these tiny claw-like mouth parts that they have at the front of their body, and they begin to rip it into pieces and then eat it. And if something attacks them, they actually have an interesting defense. Since their legs are so long, oftentimes they'll get grabbed by the legs, and they can actually detach a leg, run away, and then later regrow it, which is a nice little ability to have. In addition to being able to amputate their legs on a whim, they also taste foul to certain predators because of the chemicals that are in their body. You can see why some people are afraid of this. They're so strange looking, but they're completely harmless animals. No venom, no way to hurt you at all. 